Greek God X, do you miss living with Soda Poppin? <laughs> hey, oh man, do I ever miss it? It was like the Wild West out there, boys. We'd go on panty raids, and when I disagreed with someone, I'd block them on all social media and never see them again. <laughs> it was like a family, but the best family ever. <laughs> Saying goodbye it was like a knife in the heart. But hey, at least I got some sweet peanut butter out of it. 81 IQ, boys. 81 IQ. Pog champ. Fam, you've got 81 IQ. That's AIDS, dude. And panty raids. Mega AIDS. Don't get me wrong, man. Living with you and me and Nick was wild, but calling it the Wild West and all that, that's pushing it. But if it was so wild, why did you leave? I'm out of here. I'm sure you were the one driving out of Austin. Nice one. Now let's get this show on the road. I really don't want to be here, so I'm just doing the utmost I can. Dr. Peterson, what will happen if at the same time as Mongol shaking your nipples horizontally and Esfan shaking your nipples vertically for too long, too fast and too furious? Gentlemen, I think we can all agree that this is a preposterous question and not one that should be taken seriously. Additionally, I should note that the woke moralists of our society will try to take advantage of these kinds of ridiculous scenarios. We must also recognize that no human alive is as smart as the AI services that are already beginning to grow in sophistication and power. That had nothing to do with the question. <laughs> it's really funny when AI warns us about AI. <laughs> Wait, what? That sounds like a rendition of the Matrix. Dude, Jordan Peterson has clearly lost his marbles. Too fast and too furious. All I know is that I'm going to be the one doing the shaking over here. Asman can have his horizontal shakes, but I'm going to be doing vertical ones. Wait, what? <laughs> You guys see what I'm saying, right? I don't say or do anything. It's it's never me. It's it's you guys in clips. Man, Athena is killing it with this AI stuff. I mean, this AI version of me has the ability to shake Jordan Peterson's vertically and horizontally. Unbelievable. The world better be ready. They're becoming more intelligent, the AI. I feel and ask Pokelas if he ever borrowed Soda Poppins' blowjob machine and what did he do with it? Get Soda Poppins' reaction. Why would I borrow Soda Poppin's blowjob machine? I'm an independent man. I don't need no blowjob machine. That's a wild and crazy thing to ask me about. Like, honestly, why would I need that? Unless I have a girlfriend, then I might as well just use my hand like everybody else. That's my opinion on the whole thing. I'm a wild and wondering human being. Yala, let's get it. A blowjob machine? That's AIDS. We don't need no blowjob machine. I mean, pokalols, you do you, bro. Look, I ain't hating. I'm just saying it's AIDS. Like, why would you ever borrow a blowjob machine for real? Between you and me, I'm actually a bit jealous that he's got one. I'm going to make sure to remind him I got dibs on it next time he's using it. Stream, I think we all need to take a step back here and admit we just don't need to be talking about blowjob machines on the Athene AI show. It's getting a bit too wild and inappropriate. Trainwreck, have you ever taken a dump that felt so good you'd want to suck it back in and re-shit it again. <laughs> hey, listen, I ain't no scat freak, Collective. but hell yeah, I've re-shat more than a few dumps in my day. I'm Dude, telling the you. The feeling of a good old chunky log slipping out of your body is a kind of feeling that us <laughs> apes can't resist. It's like a giant bowl of ice cream you don't want to share, so you no! take the bowl to the corner and slurp it all up. No! It's just like that, squad you. But ape gang, always be careful. Don't high road no! me. Don't get your schlong stuck in there. You understand? No, dude. Ben Shapiro, is your doctor wife attracted to Hassan? My doctor wife can't be attracted to Hassan. His WAP is always so wet that she couldn't even get close without getting her stethoscope drenched. <laughs> Whoa, chill, Ben Shapiro. She can totally appreciate the drip. Besides, if your wife's that scared of a bit of humidity, then she must not be made for the L.A. lifestyle. <laughs> and I can guarantee you that if you want to see extremes in wetness, you got to come to me. I mean, why aren't we doing that? Oh, yeah, there's this little thing called societal unrest and capitalism. But you want to talk about humidity? Top of the hour ad break. <laughs> you want to talk about humidity? I tag kicks. Most critical, can you write a fanfic about Hassan and Destiny? All right, I can try to get something going. So Hassan and Destiny go on a daring quest far into the unknown. However, what they find is not only unimaginable dangers, but also each other. As they journey through the strange lands, they bond and eventually fall madly in love. Suddenly, a flying dildo appears from the sky, coming straight for them. As it gets closer, it starts to morph and change shape, until eventually it's a huge, pink, inflatable love boat. 
Hassan and Destiny had no idea how it got there, but it was perfect for their newly formed bond. They proceed to explore the exotic and weird realms of the world on their magic love boat, searching for more strange but even more wonderful discoveries. This slaps. They need Tyler, to make him Soda more Poppin aggro. Tyler, is lending you his automatic so, blowjob machine. How many times would you use huh? it? Soda, what are you thinking? I don't need no automatic blowjob machine from you. I'm a qualified human being. I'm so jacked. I'm so alpha. I haven't needed no goddamn automatic machine since I was 12. You hear me? I swear to God, one more okay, question Lance, like that's that. Good. That's I'll have good. you dropped into an Algerian prison. By the way, I'll take it. Woo, woo. Algerian. When the pressure is on, I perform time and time again. By the way, I've been to Algeria. They have delicious food there. <laughs> Whoa, Tyler, uh, take it easy. All right, so you don't need my cough cough machine okay i get it no worries in any case algeria does indeed have delicious food that's for sure as for me i try to stay away from any blowjob machines stream i'm so awkward so yeah it's better if you just don't even go there question for soda poppin how do i lose my virginity uh dude don't worry about it i'm sorry to hear that you are still a virgin but you're totally not alone stream there's no wrong way to lose it just do whatever feels natural and comfortable to you you can also try to make it hilarious, and hilarious, of course, is always better. Yeah. Whatever you do, just don't let anyone yeah. tell you that it has to look a certain way. Dude, Chance's voice Maral, is perfect. Esfant, ask Coffeezilla what is Soda Poppin's deep, dark secret, and then ask Soda Poppin to respond. Oh, here we go. Ah, a secret, you say? Well, it turns out Soda Poppin's deep, dark secret is actually that he's the mastermind behind a Ponzi scheme involving investments <laughs> on a crypto trading platform <laughs> called SodaCoin. <laughs> It appears those investments are actually a front for stealing users' crypto, with both the returns and the funds disappearing without a trace. I'm investigating this right now, and I'm sure Soda Poppin will be looking to respond to these allegations soon, if he's brave enough. But don't worry, these are just allegations, and I'm sure it's all an innocent misunderstanding. So you heard it here first, folks. No, my Whoa, hold up there, homeboy. That ain't how it went down. There's no way I'm behind any Ponzi scheme, and I'll tell you why. That would be way too complicated, and I myself am not smart enough to pull up something like that. <laughs> Plus, why would I do something as risky as that? Right now, I'm just trying to keep my stream entertaining and make sure people keep tuning in, and that's all I need to stay on top. Sure. So, no, I'm not behind any Ponzi scheme, and it's definitely not my deep, dark secret. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very I bad. Goes, would you ever stupid, drink Brad. crime with Logan? Ask Soda Poppin if he would go on a date with Esfant carrying a blowjob machine. Hell what? yeah, I would love to. <laughs> and let's not forget the blowjob machine. Count me in. Pia, stream, let's do it. <laughs> stream? We're going to stream Whoa, it? Whoa, dude, Soda Pop name dropped my name for some wild reason. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but <laughs> if you ever want to take me out for a date, we can just get some Soda Red Bulls and talk about the level of DPS we are currently doing. I don't think the blowjob machine is our best bet for a dating option. No offense, Soda Man, but let's keep it simple. What the frick? Okay, dude. <laughs> soda, soda name dropping S Van Tom with Elder. Birino, Ben Shapiro, S Van thinks his Lion King schlong is more powerful than your Pikachu schlong. What do you have to say to S Van about this? Esfand, how about you try and channel some of that power into actually succeeding in life instead of just making yourself look ridiculous with your wild comparisons? And if a schlong comparison is all you got, maybe you should just muff a saw out of this discussion because facts don't care about your feelings. Dude! Okay, 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 no one asked for your opinion, man, but I'm just going to say this. First off, politics are so boring and it's the same conversation every time. And I mean, I'm sure your Pikachu schlong is equally as powerful as mine. What else is new? But the thing is, no one asked for your lecture. And I think the true question here is whether or not the power of my Lion King schlong and the power of your Pikachu schlong could power the entire cast of the Athene AI show and make us all even cooler than we already are. Now that's a conversation worth having. Plug you in the chat. But I feel like these AIs are becoming sentient or something, and they're more and more aware that they are in an AI show. It's very strange. <coughs> Monsi Mons, Soda Poppin, what's inside your butthole? What the fuck? I did not sign up for this kind of shit. How about nothing? Ain't nothing in there because I'm super careful and I always double check. But hey, <laughs> if this check. ain't your first time asking about buttholes, 
then maybe you should get that checked out. That's AIDS, dude. So the Poppen, Esfan told us all that you are super cringe and that saying Pia is super outdated. If you would allow yourself to be vulnerable for a moment, what would you like to say to Esfan face-to-face? We're all face? trying to cause drama. Yeah, yo stream, what can I say to Esfan face-to-face? Well, besides the fact that I could fucking beat him in a double-headed, no-holds-barred arm wrestle, nothing, <laughs> nothing at all. Ain't no thang, bro. Besides, Pia, I think it's kind of cute that he's trying to bring back the Pia all these years later, you know, trying to keep the dream alive. I'm here for it. Dude, that's so funny. Soda trying to bring back the Pia. I respect that. It takes a lot of courage. But seriously, I mean, what can I say that can top that arm wrestle challenge? All I can say is that I think Soda is absolutely amazing, and I would never, ever dream of insulting him, except for when I joke around, of course. I mean, come on, dude. We share the same schlong-logoed PCs, the same passion for World of Warcraft, and the same love for Pizza Hut. What else do you need in a friendship? Besides, this is the age of modern technology. Paya is so 2012. Let's just enjoy our time here. Frick the haters and move on, man. All right? All right. Hog you in the chat. Dude, my AI is actually fun. super uh, funny how random it is. Don't to accuse Logan Paul of Prime Drink being a scam and then have Logan Paul defend himself. Yo, chat, what the fudge is going on, man? Bro, that dude Logan Paul is such abs artist, man. Brain snap, chat. He's always trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. Oh, shit. Prime drink scam. Drama. Dude, bro, come on. That Prime Drink stuff ain't no juice, chat. Come on. Whoa there, XKC. Hold on a second. What's all this about a Prime Drink scam? That's crazy talk, bro. Prime is legit. It's the official sport drink of the UFC. It's legit hydration and energy in one. Plus, every dollar goes right back into my pocket. Plus, I just beat XU2C's boy Aiden Ross in a boxing match, so my skills are beyond compare. So unless you feel like taking me on in the ring, how about you hold your tongue, buddy? I like how he said every dollar goes straight back into my pocket. <laughs> Dirk Schloss, Jordan every Peterson, what would you do with Elon Musk's butthole neural link implant? Well, Bucko, this is an interesting question. I think it's important to note that the Neuralink implant that Elon Musk is proposing is quite complicated, and I'm sure more than a few things could be done with it. But as far as I'm concerned, neurotechnology, while fascinating, should be approached with caution. It's more than a little bit of a leap to think that accessing the brain directly is a desirable, safe, and ethically sound course of action. Up yours, woke moralists. Okay. Mon Simmons, Soda Poppin, do you use a scoop? Oh, shit, stream. You think I just lick the ice cream? Hell no. I'm a scoop guy all the way. Ain't nobody going to see me just licking nothing. Ain't no way I'm making my tongue sticky. Just throw me a scoop, a bowl, and I'm golden. Dude, AIDS, dude. Dude, the cadence of how Soda's AI speaks well, uh, is Dr. so Peterson, can you accurate. Give us it's so breakdown funny, of Logan dude. Paul and it's KSI amazing. Drink Prime. Elon, you have been asked many schlong questions recently. What is the optimal rate of schlong questions? To be honest, I don't think schlong questions are optimal or even necessary. But if I had to answer... I'd say the optimal rate of schlong questions an individual could ask is zero. I mean, unless they've installed a Neuralink device in their brain and are trying to send signals to outer space. In that case, I guess the optimal rate of schlong questions would be 11.45 schlong questions second. But other than that, I'd advise against it. Also, I'm planning on implementing a new Ask a Schlong feature in a future version of Twitter, so Ask please stay schlongs. tuned for more updates on that. Dude, it's the, the level of seriousness and the answers are so funny, dude. I wanna, stand. Oh, oh. Ask Soda Poppin, is it gonna... how it was possible to get his animated VTuber girlfriend peg pregnant? What the fuck, Pia? Yo, chat, you guys think that just because I'm a big streamer I can get pregnant? <laughs> I don't think so, stream. Ain't no girl going to give me what I need to get that little soda baby in the oven. <laughs> Bitch, don't try me. Jordan Peterson, what would you name Soda Poppins' child? And even if I wanted to come up with a name for Soda Poppins' child, and I don't, that's not really my place. The real problem is the way the woke moralists are trying to cancel people for absolutely anything. We need to uphold our traditional values and find some kind of order in this chaos and stick it to the small minority who would have us cower and bow down to their tyranny. No, no, no. Wrong. How about no? Thank you very much. I'd rather die than let that happen. <laughs> Whoa there, Jordan. I don't think it's as deep as you think. I'm sure Soda Poppins' kid is going to be cool and have a good time in life. I mean, Boomy Poom Poom sounds like a cool enough name to me or even Flowy Pippin. Stream Boy V2? No, nah, I'm just kidding. But seriously, heroes don't rise up if stones aren't thrown. The cancel culture is not the problem here. 
We just need someone creative to come up with a cool name already. Pia. As fans, ask Soda Poppin to give an in-depth description of the baby-making process using World of Warcraft terms. There we go. Wow terms, huh? Well, you're going to need a lot of mana potions, a sharp valor axe, and a whole lot of stamina scrolls. <laughs> then you gold mine your way to a successful egg hatching, and by that I mean you grind the hell out of that egg until the baby pops out. Yeah. <laughs> Jay the Sheep <laughs> asked Joe Rogan to ask Jamie to pull oh. up a video of Jamie pulling up a video of Jamie pulling up a video. <laughs> oh, man. Have you ever seen this? Jamie, pull that up. This is the craziest shit I've seen in a while. A video of Jamie pulling up a video of Jamie pulling up a video. It's like the Russian doll of pull-ups, man. Who knows what Jamie could find if he kept going, ha, ha, ha. Jamie, my man, pull it up. Pull. <laughs> These are really creative answers. Esfand, ask Soda Poppin how you would solve global warming. Solve global warming? Easy. I just fly my giant space pterodactyl to the stratosphere and poop out giant vats of glitter to reflect the sun's rays and fix it. Yeah. Soda Poppin, do you think Esfand is going too far with his sex cult? Hey, dude, I think Esfand is just trying to get the juices flowing. Can't judge a guy for that. But all I know is it's probably better not to ask him about it if you don't want your face melted off like in Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> Stream, you hear me? Pia. Wait, what? Your face melted off? Asmund, dude, I respect your opinion and the way you try to keep things chill here. But no, dude, there isn't any face melting here, okay? It's not like there's a sex cult or something like that. Nah, I'm just doing my best to be positive and spread good vibes here. Sure, politics are kind of boring, but hey, we don't need to be talking about politics all the time. All I know is I'm going to be here on this show with this super positive energy, keeping it real and getting the wheels moving here. Do you guys have Red Bulls? We got to better here if we're going to survive this show. 